This video explains how to append new values to a data frame within a for loop using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create a data frame, as you can see in lines two to four of the code. So after running these lines of code, a new data frame is created and is appearing at the top right of RStudio. And we can print this data frame to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five. And then you can see that our example data frame contains five rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. Now let's assume that we want to use a for loop to append new values in new columns of this data frame. Then we might use the for loop that you can see in lines 7 to 11 of the code. So in line 7, I'm specifying that I want to iterate over the range from 1 to 3. And then within the for loop, I specify that I want to create a new column which contains the current value of the current iteration. And then I want to append this new column to our existing data frame on the right side of this data frame. So for that reason, I specify that I want to add this column at the number of columns plus one. And this column should contain our new values that we have created before. And then I also specify that I want to change the call name of this new column to new and the iteration value. So after running lines seven to 11 of the code, our data frame is updated and we can see that by printing our data frame once again to the bottom in the RStudio console. And now you can see that we have added three new columns to our data frame. The first new column is called new one and contains the value one because this was the value of the first iteration and the second and third columns are called new two and new three and contain the values two and three. Of course, you could specify more complex calculations within the body of your for loop. However, in this simplified example, I have simply added the iteration value. So in this first example, I have explained how to add new columns within a for loop. However, it's also possible to add new rows within a for loop. And this is what I want to show you in the next example, starting in line 15 of the code. So in this example, I want to iterate over a range from one to two. And then within the for loop, I want to specify that I want to add the iteration value as a new row. And for that reason, I first create this new data object, and then I add those values at the bottom of the existing data frame. So after running lines 15 to 18 of the code, our data frame is updated once again, and we can see that by printing the data frame once again to the RStudio console. And then you can see that our data frame contains the original values, the columns x1, x2, and x three, as well as the three new columns that we have created in the first example. And in addition to that, we have added two new rows, whereby the first new row contains the value one, and the second new row contains the value two. Please note that the things that I have shown in this video could be achieved much quicker with functions. And for loops are often criticized to be relatively slow compared to other methods. So in case you are dealing with a large data set, this approach might not be the best for you. However, anyway, I wanted to show you how to add new columns and new rows to a data frame using a for loop. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.